And all I'm trying to do is encourage you with it. You have no idea how great God loves you, but he will spend every dime and every waking moment trying to woo you back. You thinking you need something grand from God to express his love for you. No, 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 my man. You don't need nothing grand. His love for you is in the seeking of you. Whew. My wife just walking through the house and coming to get her son is the expression of the love. But do you think that boy just needs the house to blow down to know that we love him? Nah. But most of us, many of us, some of us, like, let's just include us all in there somehow. We think this God, this magnificent God, he's going to come magnificently. And if we don't see the magnificent, we're not going to answer. You better watch that stuff. Turn with me to first Kings. I'll show you. I'll show you. Our God is magnificent, but he don't need the pomp and circumstance to come with him. Not to our hearts. Our hearts are simple. And he got to come simply. Look, 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 look. 1 Kings 19, 11. The Lord said, go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord. For the Lord is about to pass by. He coming to you, Elijah. He ain't like, he coming to you. And he going to pass by. How you coming, God? Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire. Ah, he's definitely in the fire, right? No, no, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, after the fire came a gentle whisper. That's it. Elijah, come back to your senses. Young man, quit wanting a slop of life come back to your senses a little whisper you know that very that very phrase that needs to hit your heart and remind you that you are so loved that you are so seen that you are so sought after and wanted and desired and needed and thought of you know that little whisper that you longing to hear he knows and that's the very phrase he comes saying when Elijah heard it, just like the young man before, just like my boy under a bed and when his mama's calling out to him, right? He pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood on the mouth of the cave. He stepped forward. He came back. Instead of running away, we need to walk towards him. We need to take our step. And I promise you, if you just take a shuffle, baby, if you just take the smallest of steps, your father gets up and runs to you. All he needs is to turn in the direction. Why? Because he's waiting. And I'm talking on bated breath. He's waiting to run to you. He got so much love for you, you've never even imagined. You think that sin is going to keep you from him? I don't think so. He found the remedy for sin. It was the blood of his son. And he willingly paid that price. Why? For you. Because you worth that much. Because he needs, wants, and loves you that greatly. Like, I'm trying to tell you, you are the most sought after thing in all the universe. Quit running away from what he is desiring most, a relationship from you. Because in this relationship, his life, and not just life, baby, life to the full, where the grill's going, where the food's met, where the fun's had, that's where life is at. It ain't under some bed tucked away somewhere hoping hoping that he don't know where you're at, getting filthy with it, getting covered with everything. You don't even know what's going on around you. You don't even know where your next meal's coming from. It's out here with family, with father. And he's coming to get you because he wants you there. Because there's a place at his table with your name and your name only on it. 